Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode with your Iowa State Cyclone Basketball Program. As today, the Memphis Tigers come into Hilton Coliseum to take on your number two, Iowa State Cyclones. But first, let's meet our starting lineups for today's game. First, for the Tigers of Memphis, they have Borders, Middleton, Bracey, Godfrey, and Cheney. And for your Iowa State Cyclones, we have Dark Lord, Gustavo Gome, Sif Lord, Caesar Alexander, and Bobby Lashley. And today's game, folks, we are having some alumni in the stands today. They will be sitting courtside. If you remember, Ray Singleton, he's going to be there. George Niang's going to be there. Monte Morris, etc. All of the great Iowa State Cyclone basketball players are going to be sitting courtside today for today's basketball game. Anyway, we're going to get this game started as we are in week 8 of the Dynasty. This is our second to final game of the non-conference schedule and then we start our conference play. But anyway, it's time to tip off with Gus Johnson and Bill Raftery on the call. Tigers, Cyclones, are coming up next, live from Hilton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa. After today's broadcast, we'll be taking a look at the top 25 poll. Our next opponent, which is going to be our final one of the non-conference and then the top 25 poll and conference standings, if I already said that. Welcome to CBS Sports Conference of NCAA Basketball. Today's game is between the Iowa State Cyclone and the Memphis Tigers. Before we get to the tip off, let's check in with two players everyone has their eyes on. Memphis is 8 and 2. We are 9 and 2. It should be a really good basketball game here, folks, today. And Hilton Coliseum, there is your starting five for both teams. We have a jam-packed Hilton Coliseum today, folks. Sold out for this game. And there's a tip, and Memphis controls the tip-off. And the possession. And Memphis gets on the board first. And Memphis is doing a full court press off our defense. I will say get the ball over the half court line. Now they're going to get to work, and that's a turnover by Caesar Alexander. We ain't seen that early in the game, and that shot is no good. Offensive rebound, though, and then no good either. And a good rebound there by Dark Lord. I would say needs to control the tempo of this game to if they want to win it today. Because literally, oh, Gustavo, that's good. Nice shot by Gustavo Gomes. Yes, Memphis is going to come into play and try to upset Iowa State. And a block by Mr. Dark Lord. Nice pass down to the corner. Dark Lord, there he is. Back into the paint. Gustavo shot up. No, just off the rim. It's a good opportunity by Gustavo Gomes there to get that shot going inside the paint. Nice shot, nice pass inside the paint, and a good shot, but it went off. All right, we have our senior, Caesar Alexander, with the basketball. This is sadly his last year of eligibility. I think he redshirted last season, so technically he will either go to the NBA draft or he will graduate after this year. Same with, I think, Dark Lord as well. Oh, Gustavo, what a, oh, gosh, his shot got blocked, though. I was going to say, man, what a great look that was. 
Oh, and that's up and in by the big guy. Memphis doing their full court press again. And got pushed. Oh, nice hands by Gustavo Gomes, making sure it did not go out of bounds. Dark Lord passes back out to Lashley. Lashley with a spin. Nope. He's going to pass it. Oh, back out to Lashley. Dark. Oh, nope. Back to Sid. What's happening? I think they're trying to set up a shot anyway. They got six seconds. Five, four, three. Three pointer. Good by Lashley. I will say it is doing a half court offense right now. Very ball by Memphis. Off the rim. So if you're saying Gustavo's shot that he did for, to start off the scoring for Iowa State did not occur in the paint. This one is. And that's off. Ah, uh, dark lower there. Good opportunity, though, for a look. Almost stolen away. Oh, nice lob. Let that go on out bounce. Oh, no. Bobby Lashley gets the ball. All right. Good steal by Lashley, honestly. I think it would be considered a steal or maybe a rebound. I got lobbed anyway. I don't know for sure what you would consider that. Oh, Dark Lord is getting double teamed. Al Alexander is wide open for three, and that's good. And the crowd at Hilton is now coming alive. And a uh, shot is, that's a good shot. We have to watch out for borders there. At number 22 on Memphis, the center. Oh, almost a turnover. And it's out of bounds. And the ball is going with, we'll find out after the substitution. And the basketball is with Memphis. So out of Iowa State. Now Caesar Alexander on that ball. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Had a tickle my throat. Their three ball is good. And a shot. Oh no, pass to Gustavo. Nice low post, and that's good by Gustavo. Lord and Gustavo is working well. They're gelling finally together as a two big men in the in the squad. This game has been going back and forth since the opening tip-off. There's one team that will have to literally oh, lower three. That's good by Dark Lord. The big man can shoot a three. He doesn't do it all the time, but when he does, he normally nails them. Uh, and here we go with Memphis again. I will say five of nine for the field goals. Memphis five of ten. Oh, and we are now tied up. Memphis back with their full court press defense. Trying to get I will say off their tempo, but I don't think it's going to work. Sip Lord has not even had a ball yet shot off. No points for Sip Lord. Normally he has money from the three. From the corner threes anyway. That shot off the Mark Lashley there with that good rebound. Sip Lord with a ball. Oh, no. Ah, Sip Lord turns it over. Hit off the foot. That shot is up and no. Lashley with another rebound. Lashley, even though he's just our point guard, he can literally grab the rebounds. Sip floor three, yeah, no. Oh, that was his first opportunity for a three tonight, and that did not go his way. There's a three ball, and that is good. They are doing the trap for sure. Oh, Sip floor wide open three. No. Shot up and block. I think that was a block by Sip Lord. Sip Lord got up there and blocked that shot away. That was 
unbelievable. I think he is a freshman or a sophomore. Oh, it's stolen away, and they're going to dribble it up the court. And that shot is up, and no, off the mark with that wide open layup. And the shot, Sip Lord, two. That is good for two by Sip Lord. Sip Lord is actually a sophomore, so he has at least two more years of eligibility, maybe three if he wants to stay with the Iowa State program. If not, he can go to the NBA if he wants to. Or he can transfer. You know, you have all those options when you're on the college level to do what you want to do with your career. Three. Oh, man, if that went down, we would have had a tie ball game. And I think, honestly, that would have been the play of the evening. Memphis doing half court. It's like Memphis is doing half court offense, but they have to, but they're playing at the up tempo level. And then you know they're doing full court press on defense. Lashley with the basketball after a stolen away. I do believe Sip Lord or somebody got his hands on it. Double teaming Alexander Lashley there for three. Good three ball by Bobby Lashley. We are tied up once again here in Hilton Coliseum. And the Iowa State crowd is loving what they are seeing from their team tonight so far. Yes, the game is close. They're us on the edge of their seat game, but still, they know their Iowa State Cyclones will try their best to always pull out the victory. And dab in a little of Hilton magic. And the crowd is chanting, let's go Cyclones. Oh, oh, Alexander thought about it. Sip Lord, three, off the rim. I think Sip Lord is not doing well tonight. He is a little cold. He has not been shooting down his threes. Normally he does shoot, shot his threes that makes them. But not this evening so far. That shot is off the rim and a rebound by Dark Lore. And Alexander with the basketball again. A oh, nice spin move. Backs out to Dark Lord. Oh, oh, offensive rebound, that's good. And oh, off the rim. Ah. This game has been low scoring, ladies and gentlemen, since the beginning of the game. And now uh, stolen away by Bobby Lashley. He sees Alexander with the rim. No, no, Alexander, no, 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 no. Ah, he shot it anyway. And a foul this time on Dirk Lord. His first of the game, first foul for anybody in this game. Here we go with the inbound. We have all new five on the floor for Iowa State. Shot is good. We have James Allen on the floor, Josh Clark. We also have Derek Beasley, Benny Hejai, and Tim Barnes. Vinny for three. Yes, sir. That is good by Vinny. Foul on Tim Barnes aside. There is the look at the Big 12 Conference things as they sit currently. Colorado has came a long way from last season. They are literally 11 and 1 right now in the conference standings. For honestly, I think they only finished with maybe four or five wins actually all of last year. So they have definitely came a long way. I shot this up and that's good. A 
off of Mark with that shot. So he's one of one from the free throw line. We're nearing one minute until halftime. Stolen away. And uh, no foul. But it up. Nice rebound by Sip Lore. Josh Clark, three. Way. Two. Two rough on his three ball. And that shot is good. Iowa State can hold for the last shot for the first half. So that shot clock is dead, ladies and gentlemen. At the halftime buzzer, it's good by Josh Clark. And Iowa State goes into halftime by up by one point, 24 to 23 over Memphis. And Iowa State gets the basketball and the possession to start the second half. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Borders and Lashley are the leaders for the respectives for scoring. There you see the rebounds and the assist leaders as well. The crowd is telling us to wake up. I think we are going to wake up. I think because this is going to be our basketball game. Sip floor, wide open three. No. Zip Lord has not been shooting very well tonight. I think he has made only one shot. And that was for two. And there's a foul and a one-point bucket play. Tyrone Guthrie is at the line for one shot. Who leads the team in assists for Memphis, respectively? His shot is up and good. Memphis is now back up by two. Gustavo, oh, you cannot do that. Leon Middleton called for the foul. Gustavo Goons at the line for two. First one is good. One more shot for Gustafa Gomes. This is Iowa State's first time at the free throw this evening. Both of them are good and we are tied once again. Stolen, Lashley, and Alexander gets the basketball. Get out to Bobby Lashley. Back out to Gomes. Sip floor three. No, gosh, what is going on with Sip floor tonight? He cannot knock down any bucket. Sip floor is literally a grab and shoot guy. And a foul this time on Dark Lord. Two shots are coming up for Colba Bracey, a freshman. Two shots. First shot. Good. One more shot for this Colba Bracey. Sounds like he's honestly from like Jamaica or somewhere just by his first name. That's off. He's one for one from the line. He, 
that cold bola could be from like um, Jamaica, Africa, somewhere anyway. Lashley, three, no. But anyway, he is doing really well for his uh, Memphis program. Nice shot. Missed. Nice rebound by Gustavo Gomes. And now, Memphis is now playing in their full court press defense. Because they have the lead, I suppose. Only by one point, though. They try to get something going here. Shot clock's almost done, though. Caesar Alexander, three. Yes, that is good. Three ball there, Memphis. No, that is way too strong. They try to do an answer back with the three of their own. No, he didn't think about it. Alexander with another bucket for three. What a good shot by Alexander tonight so far. Oh, that ball. Wow, where was that going? That ball has a change of possession, though. And it's going to stay with Memphis. Think about shooting this? Oh, he's thinking about driving in the lane. No, that is off. That was a good look, though. Dark Lord. Man. The main guys are not getting their shots off tonight. Memphis has been scoreless in the last two some minutes, though. But gosh, Iowa State though is not that good. And a good shot by Memphis there. Now Memphis is, steals the ball. And Bobby Lashley steals it right back. Dark Lord with the ball. Can he go all the way? And he, oh! Windmill dunk by Dark Lord. No, that shot's off. Oh my, I thought that shot was going to go in. Now, Iowa State is going to be playing in their half court offense. Where is it? There it is. Sip Lord for three. That's his first three of the evening. He is finally going to probably, hopefully, heat up. Have be that brother-to-brother -brother connection. And I would say has the ball again. All alone. That's good again. And he is hot. He's getting hot. Iowa State is up 40 to 29. Off the mark, Sifford with another rebound. Alexander says, let me join the party for three. And he does. And a timeout. Oh, code by the Memphis Tigers. With 619 left to go in the ballgame. And Iowa State is slowly but surely taking this game out of reach.
Here we go. Out of the timeout called by Memphis. Memphis is down 43 to 29. That was shot is blocked. He was going to go for like a dunk or he was going to go for uh, the layup. Derek Beasley is on the floor. Same with Josh Clark. Josh Clark and Derek Beasley are on the floor for Iowa State. Alexander, we have Dark Lord as well. And Sif Lord are still on the floor for the Cyclones. They did not go. Oh, shot clock is down. Shot, Josh Clark. No. That's okay, though. That's all right, though. Good luck, good luck. Three ball by Memphis there. And now Memphis is doing their full court press again. But Caesar Alexander has wheels. And he evades the whole entire trap. And now I would say can set up there for around one. Alexander three. Money from three. Stolen, Alexander. Dark Lord with the ball. Offensive rebound though, it's Alexander, no. No foul, do not foul guys, good, no foul. Sifflord, nice shot by Mr. Sifflord in the paint for two. Lord, money, 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 money. That shot is good. Nice shot. They're doing their full court press again. Stolen. Iowa State is putting this game away and putting it on ice. Oh, Sip Lord. He's not that well from his corners tonight, but he has been making his threes, though, finally. Foul this time on Sip Lord. Two shots coming up for Michael McCarthy. No, I don't think any of the shots went down. Shots good by Tim Barnes. And the crowd at Hilton is saying, warm up the bus. Best game is out of reach. And Memphis, the Tigers are going to go nighty night. What a block. Oh, they give a rebound, though. That's good, though. Tim Barnes, I mean that, that was a good look though. Tim Barnes, Tim Barnes. 
does have that ability. And a block shot. Come on, crowd, let's chant. Warm up, there you go, warm up that bus. As this game is going to be out of reach, and I would say just passing the basketball around. Gustavo got the ball rejected there. might foul us folks they actually might no good there and they are going to foul Memphis is starting their fouls now Anzel borders with the first foul Bobby Lashley is now fouled so yes Memphis is going to be fouling folks until the one and ones another foul that is by Ekron Chane. Foul by Sam Winslow. Lashley way downtown. Off the rail. Tim Barth slams it home. Shot clock is off, and that is going to be it, folks. Your Iowa State Cyclones survive and advance to another victory in the win column over Memphis by today's final score of 55 to 40. And Iowa State will improve it to 10 and 2 on the season. What another great basketball game today in Hilton Coliseum. Let's take a look at your players of the game. Anzel Borders is your player of the game for Memphis. And Sip Lord is your player of the game for your Cyclones. For the first half, it was Sip Lord and Borders. And also for the second half, it was Borders and Lord. And now it is time to go take a look at our next opponent. The final non-conference game of the year. As well as a new top 25 poll and the conference standings. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our next opponent is going to be the one and the only, the Miami University Red Hawks. As our poll, though, does not change, we are still going to be the number two team in the nation. But we are taking on the Miami University Ohio Red Hawks. You don't get them confused by the Miami University of Florida. They are of Ohio. And well, let's take a look at your top 25 poll as I said. The top two do not change. It is still Georgia Tech. And Iowa State. At number three is Illinois. Number four is West Virginia. Number five is Purdue. Six is Wake Forest. Seven is Villanova. Eight is Texas. Nine is Kentucky. Ten, Oklahoma State. Eleven, Ohio State. 
12, North Carolina. 13, uh, Duke. 14, Kansas. 15, Michigan State. 16, Louisville. 17, Oklahoma. 18, Alabama. 19, Clemson. 20, Maryland. 21, Kansas State. 22, Cincinnati. 23, St. John's. 24, Butler. And number 25, Virginia. Let's take a look now at your conference standings. Baylor, 7 and 6. Iowa State, 10 and 2. Oklahoma, 10 and 1. Nebraska, 7 and 4. Missouri, 3 and 9. Texas Tech, 6 and 7. Texas A&M, 6 and 5. Texas, 12 and 0. Oklahoma State, 11 and 2. Kansas State, 10 and 3. Kansas, 11 and 1. Colorado, 11 and 1. Our next game, of course, is against the Miami University Redhawks of Ohio. But let's take a look at our bracketology as it sits. We are under the best of the rest. Iowa State could be a major force in the tournament depending on what seed they get. And now let's take a look at your tournament bracket as it sits right now. The season would end today. Uh, we are not in the Midwest. We are not in the East. We are not in the West. We're not in the East. We are going to be playing in the South region if the season ended today. And if I am correct, it looks like the bracket would include Kentucky, Georgia, Iowa State, Villanova, George Washington, or Gardner Webb, I don't know for sure, Cincinnati, Colorado State, maybe, Syracuse, Penn State, Alabama, Temple, Connecticut, Duke, Gonzaga, and Tulsa. So that is currently what the bracket would have looked like if the season ended today. So we would have been taking on Villanova in the very first round. But anyway, that's not going to happen this year. As we're going to try and get up our rankings though. I mean, yes, we're probably not going to get the number one seed. Or the number two. Or the number three. Maybe the number four. But I don't know for sure. Let's take a look at the automatic bids, though, for the NCAA tournament so far. Boston University, Temple, Georgia Tech, Lipscomb, Illinois, Texas, Louisville, Northern Colorado, Gardner-Webb, UC Davis, Drexel, Rice, Butler, Penn, Kinesis, Northern Illinois, UMKC, Coppin State, Evansville, Colorado State, Sacred Heart, Tennessee Tech, Stanford, Holy Cross, Kentucky, Furman, Nicholas, Texas Southern, North Texas, Gonzaga, New Mexico State. That is your automatic bid so far. The best of the rest, Iowa State, West Virginia. Purdue, Wake Forest, Villanova, Oklahoma State, Ohio State, North Carolina, Duke, Kansas, Michigan State, Oklahoma, Alabama, Clemson, Maryland, Kansas State, Cincinnati, St. John's, Virginia, Georgetown, Syracuse, Southern, South Carolina, DePaul, Tennessee, Connecticut, Arkansas, North Carolina State, Florida, Tulsa, Old Dominion. That is the best of the rest. And on the bubble, we have Arizona State, Oregon, Michigan, Georgia, San Diego State, Siena, Washington State, Indiana, George Mason, Birmingham Young, or BYU, Southern Illinois, IUPUI, Rhode Island, USC, Notre Dame, and that is it for the Tournament Bubble Watch right now. But anyway, that is it for today's episode, folks. I hope you all enjoyed today's game as we took out 
the Memphis Tigers by a final score of 55 to 40. And next, we take on the Miami University Redhawks of Ohio. This is Cyclone Basketball signing off. I'll see you next time.